Welcome back to AgroGIS. Today's question is LeetCode 572, subtree of another tree. We're given a tree and we're given a subtree and we need to work out whether this subtree can be found within this tree. Now this question is very similar to LeetCode 100, same tree, which I've made a video for. Now if you wanna go check that out before trying this question, then go ahead and do so. So the trick here is each position within this tree, we need to check for this subtree. So we're going to have two recursive functions. One is going to check whether this is the same subtree. So we'll check, say, at the root here. We'll check three, four, and five to see whether this is the same. And one is going to recursively go through each of these nodes. So let's drill down into it, right? So how can we check to see whether this subtree, for example, is the same as this? And this is where we'd be using the solution to leak code 100, same tree. Firstly, we need to check the roots, right? If they are different, so if val one doesn't equal val two, then this will return false, like in this case, or if one of them is equal to null. So say we were comparing four and one with four, one, and two. Well, the right child of four is null, and this is equal to two. So if one of them is equal to null, then we can return false. And lastly, in the most simple case, if both of them are equal to null, then we can return true. So if both val1, val2, then we can return true. So these are all the base cases that we need. And these base cases will be checked within each recursive call. So firstly, they'll be checked at the root level. We can clearly see that value one doesn't equal value two. So we return false from this. Then we move down the left side and the right side. We carry out the same function from this starting point. So four is equal to four. Great, we recurse down the left side and the right side. And we can see that the left side and the right side are both equal to each other. Then obviously it goes down to nulls. The values are both equal to nulls. So we can return true from this. So this subtree right here is going to return true. We also need to check the right subtree. So the right of five, we can clearly see that the first node doesn't equal the node in the subtree we're comparing to. So from this, we return false. Now this is a really important point. When we return the values, we need to return whether the left subtree or the right subtree returns true. So we return true or false. So as long as one of these subtrees returns true, we're gonna return true from this. And time complexity for this one is going to be O of M times N, because for every node within this tree, we're going to check whether it matches this subtree. So it will be M times N, where M is the number of nodes within this subtree, and N is the number of nodes within this tree and then space is going to be m plus n. So let's code this out. So for each node in the tree, we have to run an is same function to see whether at this node within the tree, if it's equal to the subtree. So if we take root one and root two, if root one and root two are both equal to null, we know that we found a match, so we can return true. If root one is equal to null, or root two is equal to null, or root one val doesn't equal root two val, then that isn't a match, so we can return false. And then we need to recurse down the left subtree and the right subtree. So we're gonna return is same, passing in root one dot left, root two dot left, and is same, passing in root one dot right and root two dot right. So both of these need to return true in order for the subtree to be the exact same. Then we need another function to go through each node within the main tree and recursively call from each node to check whether this subtree is the same. So if we call this DFS, we pass in node. When we call it, we're gonna return it. So DFS pass in the root so the main tree, if the node is equal to null, we can return false. Then we need to call the is same. Passing in the node and the subroot. And if this returns true, then we have found a match. So we can return true from this DFS function. And what we said in the solution run through is we need to return whether the left subtree or the right subtree returns true. So if one of these subtrees returns true, then we know that this tree has a subtree that is equal to the subroot. And that's it. 
submit it. And there you go. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out with the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.